Well, I was back uh, back a bit sooner than I thought I would, so we only went through one song. Uh, Heavy was the name of that song off of the Fights in Tight Spaces album. Switch over the webcam thingamabob here again. Alright, so we're going to carry on with some more Yakuza 0. Um, I imagine it's only going to be just me frigging around with the Cabaret Club trying to actually finish that, as I have for the last ten or so times I've been streaming this game. So yeah, just let me switch over the uh, stream info here. We shall see what we shall see. Or she. Boom. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, what Dark Ninja was saying about that, though, was just kind of... Yeah, the, the Battle Royale type game is something I do enjoy watching. I just suck at playing them. The only one that I was halfway decent at was one I attempted to stream last year, just after Christmas, as a matter of fact, called Vigor, which is kind of Battle Royale, but sort of not really. And I played a little bit of it. I'm probably never going to play it again. Um, I wasn't able to stream it on account of the fact that, you know, that was around the time that my internet was getting all fucky and, like, I could not stream anything properly. But, uh, it was fun. It was a pretty fun game. The way Vigor works is, like, you're, you're living in Norway, I think it is, after a nuclear war happened. And the main game mode is basically kind of like this scavenging thing where you drop into a map, or you don't drop into it, you walk into it, basically. And you have to scavenge for supplies and stuff, and like more better, more better, you heard me, supplies pop up on the map, like supply crates and shit like that. But there's other players in there that are also fighting for it. But the goal isn't actually to kill anyone else. The goal is to get as much supplies as you possibly can, and then get the hell out and get back home with it. Now granted, certain challenges and stuff require you to fight other players, but at the same time, if you're really sneaky, you can get in there, grab all the stuff you need, and then get out again without firing a shot. As a matter of fact, unless you're really good at the combat in the game, one thing I've heard people suggest about it is, you know what, rather than risk any of your stuff, because if you die, you lose nearly everything that you have on you, just go in completely empty-handed. <laughs> That way you don't actually lose anything. You're only making a net gain every time you do a run. Which is difficult all the same, but yeah. But it was a fun game, and it's free, which is great too. Now, of course, it's one of those free games in that they offer a bunch of premium stuff if you pay for it, but I mean, every game like that is like that nowadays, isn't it? But yeah. I was never great at competitive multiplayer, for the most part, and... That's something that's just increasing as I get older. It's like, I really suck at it. Now we're going to have story time. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on stream before, but the only game that I was good at in competitive multiplayer was actually the multiplayer for the original Red Dead Redemption. I was surprisingly good at that. That's because I was doing nothing but playing it for the entire summer Red Dead Redemption was out. <laughs> so yeah, I, I ended up getting exceedingly good at that game. If I tried to go back and play it now, I probably would suck at it, but, you know, at the time, at the time, I was pretty great. Also, the multiplayer for Bioshock 2 I was surprisingly good at. It's funny, it's like two games where multiplayer was entirely unnecessary. It's something I was good at. Go figure. Funny thing about that is, I think I did see something recently that um, there's been leaks about, um, or at least rumblings of what the next Bioshock game is going to be. Apparently it takes place in the Antarctic or something. It's interesting. when V came in talking about Code Vein as well. I was like, yeah, that, that is a game I was looking into maybe getting at some point a while ago, but never did. Not that I really have a lot of money to be spending on games this time of the year, but... <clears throat> I'll start by writing a postcard. What crazy thing can I talk about this time? Uh, none of these are really crazy. 
Although I suppose we could probably write about how uh, Majima helped the tax system in Japan so I can have people gunning for me. I can write about advising that politician about taxes. Gotta keep the details vague on this one, though. Let's see now. There we go! Ah. Chan, drop this postcard. To go again. We're at the finishing line here. You won't leave me hanging now, will you? I need you on my team. <laughs> team Majima-san? I don't know about that, but I'll do it. You're an angel. Yeah, yeah, let's hope your postcard gets picked. Anyway, all I'm probably going to do here is just do cabaret stuff to try to finish it, but we'll see. How's the team doing? Are they all rested up so I can try to beat that old man again? Come on, I'm B rank. How can I not beat him? You know what, some of my A-team needs to, uh, needs to rest up. So yeah, let's get all the A-team out of here. And, uh, let's, let's go with all the Silver Hostesses instead. Well, maybe I should throw a couple of Bronze in there, too, just to balance things out. Got a couple of high-level Bronze Hostesses. Should I do some special training? It takes up so much time, though. I mean, that'll probably still help me when I, um... No, no, it's gonna eat up way more time than I'm willing to spend on this. Let's start targeting Club Venus. God, I love the song that plays during this, though. Talking cute. Let's go with Aranda. I start making some inroads on this territory. What do you want? You only just got here! I mean, yes sir, if you want to get drunk. Loosen up your purse strings. <laughs> of course, these wolfy assholes are probably going to be a problem. They usually are. Oh, this guy's real angry. Gotta spread the word! Steal all the fans! That's right, you bastard. <laughs> you leave her alone.
There we go. Junko. Let's keep giving gifts. Uh, gifts. We need good word of mouth. Is it fever time? It's fever time! Oh damn, there we go. Kimi is the girl for you, my friend. This guy's spending money hand over fist. I mean, she's not, uh... She's not a beauty, apparently, but she does know how to party, so maybe that'll sway things in our favor. Nice. It has swayed things in our favor. She's doing pretty good with that guy. Love and funny, eh? Bam. Oh. Gotta spend money to make money here. Oh, the session's been extended. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Very rarely does. <laughs> Do you like how you like? I have spent so much time with this part of the game. Like, so an insane amount. I legitimately feel like it takes more time. It takes more time to do this than it does Kiryu's side business. <laughs> oh damn, Miranda's real good apparently at this. You know, for a silver hostess, she's actually really damn, uh, really damn good. Even if she is a jerk, considering the side mission I had to do to get her. I gave away a shitload of money in terms of gifts, but hey, it's not bad considering it's the first time I've had a night's work in this area. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san! We now have more than 3,000 fans from the Club Venus area! Oh, nice! We're making good progress. 
Yeah, I bet when Kanahara hears that news, it'll wipe the smile right off his face. Sure hope so. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot this guy is like the friggin' Phantom of the Opera. Oh, that laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Yes, I know it's you. I like how Majima's not even looking at him. Kanahara! <laughs> Uh, look at that! You finally managed to remember my name! I'm so happy! What do you want? Are you gonna stop to drop a declaration of war or something? Uh -huh. Me? Against you? How quaint! Predators don't declare war on their prey, they just eat them. I simply came to see Yuki. What? Me? Yuki, are you ready to come, come be my lady? What are you talking about? <laughs> You know exactly what I'm talking about. There's never been a woman who's refused me. Come, this is the beginning of our grand adventure together! Knock it off. Yuki doesn't give a shit about your charms. Never going to like you. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I see. You're cute, Yuki. I've never been denied like this in my life, so this is as amusing as it is novel. Maybe I said this already, but I don't stop until I get what I want. And if I can't have it, I'll make sure no one else can. No means no, fucker. You you, you take your pompadour and get out of here. Huh? I don't want you to be unhappy, Yuki. I want you to live in my arms. You really should stop teasing me so much, you know? I'd be very sad if you weren't here. Well, is he threatening to kill her? Well, ta-ta, Club Sunshine. I look forward to your continued, albeit futile, efforts. Why do you stay away from Yuki? What? Hey, Yuki-chan. You okay? Hi. I I'm fine. I won't let him intimidate me. Good to hear. Besides, you protect me if anything happened, right? Ah. Uh. You know I got your back. Hi. Me too. And me three. I'll be your bodyguard, Yuki-chan. <laughs> this is great! You'll all kill for me! It's great! This must be the power that God feels. And then Yuki starts having a God complex of some kind. Thank you, everybody. Kill in my name! Yuki-chan's voice is still trembling, but she's trying her best to be brave. This means I gotta stop Kanahara from having his way. Yuki commands it! Alright, let's try having the battle with the old man again. God damn it, I gotta beat him this time. This is like the fifth or sixth time. Okay, let's clear the decks and break out the big guns again. start throwing her in like low stakes events though so she can gain some levels she's pretty low all things considered it's a fairly well-rounded team here though i believe i called this guy the kuze of cabaret club last time i fought him and honestly that's beginning to seem like it's the case ah I thought for certain I had him last time, too. Because he was doing her- oh, see, now, now he's, like, doing a pile of business again at the beginning. What do you need, talk and sexy? He's trying to save the platinum hostesses for the really wealthy crowd. Like you! You need skill and what? Sexy. Saki it is! What a fucker. Uh, skill and sexy? Uh, 
お待たせしました面白いね君スキルオンビューティー行けるぞよいしょ。<laughs> okay, I gotta hit Fever Tom as soon as it pops up. Because holy crap, holy crap, they, they have really outstripped me almost immediately. I feel like I'm also not fast enough, might be part of the problem. <laughs> Of course, we have to see this cutscene. With the ridiculous outfit the girl was wearing, imagine myself satisfied, thumbs up. I in her evil bunny rabbit costume. Oh, <laughs> 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 Mercury's built. There we go. I was going to say they're building up something nasty. I know they are. I should have expected, but oh well. Can't be spending much in the way of money, though. We, ha we have to just praise the girls. That's it. Oh, wait. Let's miss something there. The Obatarian's time to shine. This man is poor. He do does not have the money to spend. Aha! Excellent. I'll milk that man for more money. Yeah, let's wait until wait until she sits down. Then hit fever time. And hit fever again now in a moment. Fever, fever! This cabaret club is going to get down with the sickness. Wait, what? <laughs> exactly. I'll soon be able to hit it again. Oh, 
Maybe. I might stand a good chance of beating him this time. I hope to God I do. <laughs> One more time! I hope to God I beat him. I really do. I'm sick of I'm sick of dealing with this old man. This time for sure, man. This time for sure. Will I have enough time to hit fever one last time before the... Yes! For one second! Alright, how'd we do? Oh, I got you, you fucker. I got you. I got you this time. In your face, old man. and sweet, sweet experience. I hope the next guy isn't anywhere near as difficult to take down as he was. Look at all the fans I have in the Mercury area. We won. <laughs> yeah! I don't know why I said it like that, but there we are. Did it, Yuta Chan? Majima just shrieks in the old man's face. Yes. At last. You've done well, Yuta. Splendid. After all, none of my apprentices ever surpassed you. Zamura san. I'm glad it was you I lost to. Now I can shut down my club with no regrets. You don't have to do that, Mizumura san. You can still start over. We can do this the right way, together. <sighs> Yuda, that's not possible. Gone too far down a different path. Hmm. But... Oh no, they're playing the sad music. After I lost my wife, I used every dirty trick in the book to protect the club. <sighs> as long as I was alive, I would keep the club going. That's the promise I made to her before she died. Promise? I'd heard about your wife's passing, but I had no idea you'd make a promise like that. It was difficult for an old man like me to run that cabaret, cabaret without any help. <sighs> Went downhill quickly, and pretty soon I was in danger of going out of business. That's when Tsukiyama appeared on the scene. Business was good, as long as I did what that man said. <sighs> Whether it was converting the club from a cabaret to a cabaret club, or ripping off customers, I did everything he told me to do. I looked past all of it, because I knew that's how the club was staying open. I basically sold my soul to the devil. But well, this is the end of the road for Club Mercury. It's time. It's quite a while ago, in fact. I don't know when it'll be, but when I get to heaven, I'll tell my wife. I'll tell her I'm sorry. Hmm. Mizumura-san, I had no idea. I didn't know. 
and I said all those things to you. <laughs> Dude, I don't ever lose your honesty. You really remind me of myself back in the day. With you around, I'm confident the future of Sutton Bori's entertainment district is in good hands. Ms. Amuro-san. Ajima, I've seen what you're capable of doing too, and I have a favor to ask. What is it? After Club Mercury is gone, would you let Hibiki work at your club? Mm hmm? Nani? I know she's a little weaker than some girls, and that she can't come to work every day. Most clubs wouldn't put up with her for very long. Hello, Rolls. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. But your club seems like the type that would actually welcome her for the talent she does have, would you? <laughs> oh, of course. Any girl you train would be a welcome addition to the team. That's great. Thank you. Miss Murasan. Ibiki, thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care of your younger brother and mother. Family is everything. Mm. Yes, thank you, Ms. Ha ha ha. Well then, it's time for this old soldier to turn in his combat boots. We may not see each other again. Goodbye, forever! Ms. Murasan! Thank you very much. Do your best, Yuda. Hi. I will. I guess Gramps was pretty cool. Uh, did you not see the suit? Of course he's pretty cool. Hey. Yes, I really looked up to him. Hello. Ajima kun thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to working with you. Ah. Yeah, I am too. I'm counting on you, Hibiki-chan. <laughs> you can count on me. Hurt. Ah. What ridiculous outfit can I put you in? Right, yeah, sure. Are you ogling her? I ain't. R2? Am not. Oi. That's enough flirting, you two. Get a grip and let's get serious here. The five stars are still out there. Wait, did I just get a scolding from... a chan? Oh, that was humiliating. You watch, Ms. Murasan. I'll be the one to carry your legacy forward. <sighs> I wish he'd always work this hard. Don't worry, he'll be back to his old self tomorrow. Hi. Ajima-san. Everyone else! Ajima-san! All you other crowd! Let's get ready for the next shift. Let's go! Alright, let's do this. Are they just hanging out in the building? So, even Mizumura-san has fallen. It was an old man who was behind the times. All they did was kick out his crutches. That was the hardest fight I've had in this business. Don't you dare badmouth that old man! Hitomi, I assume there are already plans in place to deal with him? Of course. What kind of assistant would I be if I waited until you asked to take care of these matters? Remarkable as always, Goro Majima of Club Sunshine. Looking forward to seeing how you handle the challenges that await you. Hot damn! Billion yen! Almost there. I think there's only two more clubs to take out. Well, what will I do now? I mean, I'm probably mostly going to focus on the cabaret shenanigans. How many completion points do I have? Probably not a lot. Oh. I wasted most of my points on... <laughs> maxing out the business side of things. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. 
we're gonna go, what I'm gonna do... Honestly, I should probably use some of the plethora of cash I have to uh, unlock more things. By things, I mean fighting things. Yes, you know what I mean. Apparently my brain is turning to mush, that's fun. Okay, well, let's see if I can just unlock more stuff in Thug. The speed at which you adjust your hold on an enemy. Okay. Secret of the Night Lord. Boost power your attacks while you remain calm and a full health. That might be handy when I fight Mr. Shakedown, honestly, so let's get that. Boost the power of essence of the thug. Choke out. We got any cheaper ones for any of the other styles? There we go. Although increasing my maximum health is always good. Again, for shakedown purposes. I run into that bastard now in a moment, who knows? I never did finish my training with uh, them, did I? Uh, I might go over and do that later. They're all referring to me by name! What's happening? Oh god! Am I getting mugged? Majima-san? What's happening? <laughs> this is disturbing. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> this is like the beginning of a horror movie. Majima san? Oh, that's the way you go it. At least you go at a happy man. A bunch of women surrounding you and creepily saying your name over and over again. I don't know how I'd feel about that, honestly. <laughs> I 
he still hit me. Okay, wait, yeah, the thing I was going to do, I want to see, um, I want to buy up more of the, uh, places. Although, I just spent all my money on combat maneuver, so I don't have the money to spend on places to partner with. However, I'll have more money if I beat it out of this guy! Hello, friend! Let's see what I need. Yeah, 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 super cute girls, gotcha. You know, it occurred to me, I probably should have gotten the Sacrifice Stone. What do I have, anyway? Well, let's unequip that, because that's pointless to have now. Well, that increases my defense a little, at least. That's something. Well, maybe I'll get lucky. No! <laughs> Damn it! That's not me getting lucky. You'd like to spend more stocks, bonds, invest on buy, buy more stocks, bonds, investment properties, but instead you spend your money on video games and soda. Yeah, I know it sucks, doesn't it? All my stocks except one are red. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat this guy. I haven't had any luck the past three or four times I've fought him. Ah, that's not good. Although at the very least I jumped up more. Okay, I'm going to have to try not to use a healing item until... I won't use a healing item until he gets stronger, which is probably going to happen pretty soon. Because I know once he hits his major heat mode, one mighty shakedown stomp is enough to straight up kill me, no matter how high my health is. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, mystery liquid. Aha! Screw you, I have a bike. Well, here it comes. Oh no! Oh no, the game's spazzing on me! 
mostly because of the, um, you know, the cable is starting to frig up on me. Uh, wooden driver? Driver car from wood makes it difficult to hit balls with a clean shot. Can I hit his balls with a clean shot? I guess we'll find out. I almost got a heat action. Oh no, oh no, no! Okay, if if he takes me out like this. Oh, thank God. That was probably a waste, but. Well, it was definitely a waste. I really gotta stock up on these things. There we go. I don't know that that was even worth it, but it was fun that I did it. Fortunately for me, he might screw me up pretty bad. Oh, I'm so close. It's clutch time! So close. I'm so close, but he can still take me out so easily. Just two hits and I'm fucked. Ah! Mystery liquid! Deploy! <laughs> Sir. No, sir. Okay, screw the heat actions. I'm just gonna chip away at him until he's done. Hell, if I can. Yes! In your face! You beat me again! It ain't gonna change, no matter how many times you try. I'll let you go for now, but next time, next time I'll show you. Fuck yeah! Let's go to a bar and get drunk. Probably also go to a drugstore to stock up on more healing items because, you know, next time. Oi. Hey, fellas. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look. Ah! 
this gun is mine now. What's also mine is your neck! It's time to spend some of my absurd amount of money. My absurd amount of blood money. You have anything new to say? Huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, that 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 tells me nothing. Let's buy ten of these. Let's go to my favorite bar and have more drink. I need to befriend that man so I can enter into a partnership with him. And thus crush my competition. I love that I can't actually go into the Grand anymore, even though I'm nominally the guy in charge of that place. My friend, I would like... Suntory Old Whiskey. This is another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in cherry bar barrels at the Yamazaki Distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. This yields a bright aroma and a sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. I always like how dirty talking about whiskey sounds. <laughs> or maybe I'm just dirty minded, who knows? <laughs> a lot of people call it Dharma because the bottle's round shape looks like a Dharma doll. I'm very sorry, Majima-sama, but may I ask a favor? What's up? I just got a call from my supplier. They finally have a liquor I've been trying to get for ages, but I need to go now and get it in person. Ah, you want to close up early? No problem. I'll get going. Yeah. No, that's not it. I was hoping you might agree to mine the bar. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, baby. Want me to tend your bar? Why do I gotta do that? <sighs> I won't take long. Besides, when I'm back, we could open one of the bottles of the new liquor and have a little private tasting session. Just the two of us. Are you coming on to me? Because, I mean, if you can provide me with whiskey, I'm down for it. Well, that changes things. Where do I sign? Hey. I imagine a connoisseur like you won't have any trouble explaining the drinks we serve here to any customers who might come in. I ain't so sure about that. Well, I do owe them for the free booze. If it's just for a little while, I guess I can do it. Fine, I'll do it. I'm looking forward to a taste of that new stuff again. <laughs> of course. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you go get the stuff and I'll take care of your bar here. Hi. I'll be right back. Oh god, how am I gonna botch this? <sighs> well, it shouldn't be a problem. Maybe no one will show up until he gets back. Let's get a drink! Just my luck. Someone's here already. Is that the guy who was dating Miranda? You know, the woman who works for me at the club now? And they were screwing over the other dude? Looks like him, anyway. Evening! Uh, welcome. Hmm? hmm? That's not the usual bartender. Hmm? Yeah, wonder what's up with that. Majima has one interesting resume at this point. So, where's the usual bartender? He, um, had to step out on urgent business. Ah, uh, that's too bad. He's got encyclopedic knowledge of liquors from around the world. I was really looking forward to his commentary. Uh, you're into that stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I'm no expert. This bar's got an impressive whiskey collection, though. 
That's why I like it. Yeah. Yeah, see, in that case, what kind of whiskey can I pour you? Hi. We'll start with the domestics, I think. Hmm, Japanese whiskey, huh? Yamazaki is a good choice. What are those casks they use again? Cherry ca cask. Cherry cask. Perry casks. <laughs> yeah, you know that 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 guy and the the American police procedural kind of show, Perry Mason. Yeah, they 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 age them in his casks. Or if you're a fan of more recent cartoons, that secret agent platypus. They age them in his casks. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki is an excellent choice. Their secret lies in the casks they use. Really? The casks? There's a subtle sweetness underneath the bitter taste of the whiskey, ain't there? It comes from the casks. Eh? From the casks? Do tell! Yamazaki whiskey matures in casks previously used to make sherry. Uh. That's why the whiskey takes on some of the sherry's flavor and aroma. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. Alright, they're eating this up. Can I get you another round of drinks? Mm. Well, let's try something else this time. Uh. Can you recommend something? Maybe a scotch? Mm. Scotch whiskey, huh? What's the name of that popular one? Beef Eater. Valentine's. Val now, I don't recall what Valentine's is, but Beef Eater is gin, which is very much not. Uh. If it's scotch you want, you'll definitely want to try Valentine's 17 years old. Mm. Really? Why is that? Over 40 single malts are blended to make this whiskey. Matured for 17 years to perfection. It's held in high esteem all over the world. Eh? More than 40 single malts go into that? Unbelievable! I love the history and details that you get about the weirdest of things in this game. Like, I wasn't expecting when I started playing this game, oh god, almost a year ago, that I was going to be getting a rundown about how whiskey is made. But I'm all for it. Yeah. Yeah, I could talk for hours about every single one of them. <laughs> Please do. I'm really curious. I will. On your next visit. Hmm. The suspense is gonna kill us. I guess we've got no choice but to come again soon. <laughs> hmm. That's right. Looking forward to it. Because I'm not gonna be here and I really back myself into a corner with that. I'm loving the drinks here. I want to try more. Apparently my goal is to give these people alcohol poisoning. Uh. Yeah, me too. Let me pick something for you this time. You enjoyed the Yamazaki whiskey with a cherry aroma, right? I think I know what you'd like. Bartender, you have Glenfiddich, don't you? Glenfiddich? Ah. ah, yes. An excellent choice. What is it like? Ask me. Let me think. It's got something in common with Yamazaki whiskey and a cherry aroma. It's been a long time since I've had Glenfiddich, so I honestly don't know. I usually associate earthy flavors with scotch, but I feel like that's not it. Ah. Glenfiddich is a whiskey with a smooth feel and a fruity aroma. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I love drinks with a fruity aroma. I can't wait to try it. That fruitiness distracts you from how strong the alcohol is, though, so you have to be careful. Ah. Exactly. It's all too easy to get drunk with this one. I managed to wing it somehow. Thanks! It's time for us to get going. I think I might have had a little too much. Yeah. Hope you had a good time. Don't blame me for the alcohol poisoning. Let's come again. <sighs> Man, I barely got through that. Bartending ain't exactly a walk in the park. <laughs> hey, you're back! <laughs> Thank you for minding the bar. I've got the liquor. Ah. Hmm, that's good. I bumped into two customers who were just leaving the bar. Seems you did an excellent job. Yeah. Please, take this. You earned it. I got a French wallet. <laughs> and now I promised you a taste of my newest edition. So let's have a drink. Ah. Oh yeah! Ooh, yeah! It's weird seeing you on this side of the bar. This is Corvorsier XO, a French cognac which won a prestigious award at an international contest in 86. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. Thanks to you, I can finally serve it at my bar. Oh, nice. 
This is a taste that I'll have them coming back for more. Hi. Thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome to give bartending another try anytime you'd like. Yeah. No way. No thanks. I'm happy just being a customer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. Nice. Thank you very much, Majima-sama. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You're going to see me right now. A record or more alcohol. Also the partner. In more ways than one. No, that's not what I meant. Fuck it, let's get more Corvusay. Corv 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 right? A remarkable specimen from France. Corvoisier XO won, a t won top prize in worldwide cognac tests. Pairing of the finest grapes with bordery spirits produces a full but smooth palate. You haven't had cognac until you've tried this one. I am so drunk right now. Would you like another one, sir? No, I don't think I can handle it. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Please come again. I thought this was a place I could partner up with. Yeah. Why is that not happening? Well, I'll have to come back and get drunk again some other time. Said, let's get some grub. I have the drunk hunger. Oh, actually, oh wait, no, I haven't gotten everything at this place yet. Nanchuajia. Okay, well, let's try to buy up as mu much partnerships as I can in the other clubs area. But where do I go for that? Of Venus. Uta kicks Marianne. Come to think of it, I think I've bought up most of the places over here already. Looks like I have, yeah. Anyway. That piece of crap? Me? Somebody has a gun? Wait, did somebody have a gun? No, I just... I was just hearing things. This is mine now. I'm going to use it on your friend. These thugs outside Club Venus make them know I mean business.
front headlong into everybody. It's a pretty expensive partnership fee. Ladies, business is afoot. Have I been here? I don't think I've been here before. You don't shame us, eh? No, I must have been. Okay. More whiskey. And go and peach sherpas. Okay, I can't actually. I can drink more whiskey, but I can't have anything to eat. Alas. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to actually look up a map to see where the last businesses are. Uta, Cakes Marianne, and Yakitori Toriko. I don't know where Yakitori Toriko is, but. What Venus businesses? Where is the map? Show me the map. So I'm looking for Fuguta, which is number two on the map I'm looking at here. Where the hell is that? It's actually right down next to the cab stand. Which is not that way, I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> Who do we have next? Marianne, Yakitori Toriko. Might as well look up where both of those are. Five on this list. Oh, it's actually right next to where I was. Yakitori Toriko is actually that little stand here, I believe. You don't shame us, eh? Oh wait, no, it's next door to that. Wait, is it? Where is it? It's right here. Hey, fellas! Time to fight! Wow. 
I think I just kicked that sign into the other guy. Nani? And some bat dentistry. Kicks Marianne, where the hell is it? Is this it? Yes! Excellent. Whoa. Well, seeing as how I'm here, let's actually go try to do the friggin' fighting arena thing again before I go down and try to deal with Club Venus. Card finder again, I guess. On the off chance I'll find more cards. You heading down River Pelly? Yeah, so more ways than one, because I'm probably about to get my ass handed to me by a clown. Indeed. Oh, it's it's I. Like the one of the girls that's working at the cabaret club. Such a weird thing to find in this game. Knife, bat, wooden katana, iron hammer, brass knuckles. Uh, let's try the brass knuckles again, I guess. I don't know. I don't friggin' know. First match. Well, that was pointless. Yep, this is not going well at all. Why is his crotch so stained? I also like how I'm slightly drunk while doing this. I hate this part of it. Just so I feel better about myself, I'm going to heal up and probably fight one of the other ones. Fighting fiends free again. 
Because at least this way I can only... You know, I don't need to use weapons. Two more cents. I can do this though. a bad idea. I might still get beat. You clown. Get you clown. Oh yeah, this guy. Difficult. Still better than the other one, though. Oh god, the gun. The gun man. Man, Hunter Gun, though. Considering how difficult the rest of it was, that seemed way too easy. Okay, good. I can just skip over the other tournament and do the next one.
The Varout Abyssal Rump. Only favorites who prove themselves on the Devil's Spree stage might try their luck here. Contenders would be wise not to disappoint their bloodthirsty audience or else. The beauty of this simply, seemingly simple stage lies in the Dark Abyss which awaits sluggish contenders. Here you must fight not only against your opponent, but against time itself. Oh boy. First match. Oh yeah, this guy. Inventy. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Better than the guy I just pounded into the dust, certainly. Oh, this guy. The drunken master. There's heat action. Oh, you're after a night of drinking, are you? I'm envious of you. I haven't had a good I haven't had a good drunk night out in a while. What's up with these people taking their shirts off while fighting? I don't know. Freeze them up, maybe. Better ease of movement. Or maybe they just want to show off their tone physique. This guy's new. I haven't fought him before. Charged with war crimes. He is a big dude. Ah! Oh my god, he's Guile. He's basically Guile. Like, he legit seems to have the same moveset. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> if this motherfucker pulls a, so a sonic boom off on me, I swear to god. He said he's just going to bicycle kick me in the dick. Said of these people, I'm fighting for my life. Time to take off my shirt. But of course. I mean, that only makes sense, right? If I intimidate my enemy with my tone physique. Can I even grab this guy? Ow. I mean, this guy didn't take his shirt off, but considering how tight that tank top is, it's just well to say he did. And seriously, it has to be intentional that this guy is like Guile, right? Somebody did this on purpose. Let's 
screw throwing my opponent. I'm going to throw him into dirt. Of course, I actually get to throw him after the thing is gone. No shirt makes you aerodynamic. That's exactly it. They gotta cut down on wind resistance. Wait, what did I just get? They're like living bullets. Like seriously, what did I just get? I thought it was like a equipable item, but maybe it's just a um You know what? I don't know. This I shouldn't have skipped by it so quickly, is that anyway. Center the other tournament, see how that goes. The Abyssal Romp. Vengeful Otake. Oh no, it's another one where I have to use weapons. Ah. I hate it when I'm forced into using a weapon. Well, let's try it anyway. Agent of Vengeance. Especially a surprise bullet charged with revenge murders. Well, this is going poorly. Oh no. Well, I mean, that works. I'm not going to say no to that. So I don't have to beat them. Did the announcer just call him Count Sodomy? <laughs> I was trying to knock him down there, but alas. I also like how Majima kind of T-posed as he fell. Anyway, I think that's enough of this. Let's go back to the only thing that makes sense, the Cabaret Club. Although one thing I do want to check. Mr. Phantom. Otake used to, used to offer his services to the victims of heinous crimes and their families to exact revenge for the wrongs committed against them. He thought he was doing the right thing until he killed a target and was then hired by their family to take revenge for his death. After that eye-opener, he came willingly to the bed of sticks to atone. Oh, interesting. While his real name is unknown, he is said to be Japanese. He always detested humans and figured that soldiering was the job for him. Not only did he get to kill people with impunity, but he got a salary for it. He fought with armies all over the world as a mercenary, joining in any conflict, but when he came to Japan, his father, deeply ashamed of his doings, handed him over to the bed of sticks. Okay then. And I think I've seen the rest of these guys. You know, like this life-size Chucky doll. I'm gonna see if I can get my ass to a restaurant, eat all the food, get all the health back. Let's see if I can get to the major bar chain, for example. Watch her run headlong into Mr. Shakedown on the way.
And there he was. There was Mr. Shanktown. <laughs> And there it is. I mean, it, it makes sense that you can't eat unless you have low health, because it's like, you know, you can't eat if you're full, right? But... Although I think there's items that let you eat as much as you want, even if you're injured, or not injured, I should say. I'm not a one hit point wonder. The regular rank and file nukes don't seem to do a hell of a lot of damage to me anymore. He's not dead, though. Of course not. <laughs> Alas, it appears Mr. Shakedown has disappeared. the cabaret! Oh no, they've tracked me down! The women who corner me and keep saying my name. On to me. Sure, I'll just do the same. I think I just impaled that man with my foot. <laughs> Did you see how fast that woman was just walking? She turned into the Flash for a minute. Do you have superpowers? Would you like to join the Avengers initiative? Wait, this is the wrong comic um, continuity. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah! 
this is mine now. Ow! So is the foot to the face, apparently. I believe that's the definition of overkill right there. What do I get? Some quality iron. Oh wait, I need to I need to doll up my new recruit in a ridiculous outfit before I do anything. Makeover. No, Hibiki, you look too normal. We need to fix this. <clears throat> and now we hear this tune. Delinquent? Clothing based on the hit TV, uh, TV show, Yo-Yo Detective Yoko. Well, we gotta go with that. Okay, ridiculous hairstyle. Let's do it. Double buns, trendy long, idol cut. I don't know. There's there, there's not really much I can do in terms of ridiculous haircuts anymore. I don't think. Other than give her like the Princess Leia do, I guess. Bright white. I don't think I've got anyone with bright white hair yet. have used most of the really weird options, so let's just give her bright white eyes. I don't think I can go right to hell with the makeup either, so I'll probably pass. Need to find something to like even things out to the point where it gets maximized somehow. <clears throat> Although I do like the sunglasses, so you know what? I think we'll just give her the sunglasses. Screw it. I'll find the means to make her look like a friggin' anime protagonist. I feel like the cross. I feel like the cross earrings may do that, though I think I've given that to somebody else already. So none of them actually change anything except red nails. Actually, no, not that one. The cool ring. Yeah, screw it, why not? 
matches the hair. Okay, well, I guess she's not going to be... She's not going to be cute, but she's going to be good with everything else. Though she's pretty absurd looking, and that was my only goal. Okay, so how are they, how, how are they doing anyway? Like, no. Yuki is the only one that has the cute side of things. Okay, I'll tell you what, um... remove all of them from duty. Let's throw Hibiki in. And I think I've got a gold hostess who's pretty low level. Yeah. Although really, why am I throwing in some of the smaller fry? I think I should just stick with the silver. And Although some of the bronze hostesses are actually pretty good. No, whatever. Let, let, let's go from the bottom with the silver and work up, I guess. Well, let's throw Randa in there too because she's actually pretty good. All right, sure. Ridiculous, is she gonna look? Yes. The answer is very. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I get my lineup stacked with weird looking premium ho platinum hostesses. So far, they all want cute, which is, which means I can't use Hibiki for any of this. Oh wait, no, there we go. Cute and love. Give me all your money. Uh, wait, what are we looking for? Funny and talk? Yes, so good. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get the cinematic too, aren't we? With your weird look. Her anime protagonist look. <laughs> this guy's being a jerk. He needs to stop being a jerk. Even that fever didn't stop him from being a jerk. And we didn't need him anyway. 
ありがとうございます嬉しいですありがとうございますありがとうございますありがとうございますようこそお願いしますかわいいご延長はいかがありがとうございますああ Of course, he didn't extend the session, the jerk. <laughs> oh, wait.、Um, they want to check over there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. はい、後輩。あ、ah,、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。お願いします。ありがとうございます。Although I really have to start actually giving the girls gifts or praising them because they're starting to run low on、um, hit point things. I guess it's hit points. Menu. こちらになります。I、didn't improve that guy's disposition, are you? Oh well. Stupid asshole, rich people. I'm glad I'm rolling them for all their money. Hi, damn it. That was wrong. Thank you. おしぼり助かりましたありがとうございますお願いしますはいそうですねお願いしますご延長はいかがですか失礼いたしますよくお願いしますオフンビューティーをさえお待たせしまいました。こちらになります。お願いします。フィーバスで。ポイントはいかがでしょうこちらになります。はい。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Feel like that went relatively well. 
Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And now the sweet, sweet love wobs. So many level ups. <laughs> nice. I think it's time for a battle. Maybe I'll do one of those and probably end off the night. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san! We top 5,000 fans from the Club Venus area! Yeah, good job, Yudachan. chan Club Venus ain't gonna be able to ignore us after this. Aye. Yes, I'm sure that host wannabe will be here soon to challenge us. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait. Ain't you Chica from Club Venus? What do you want? I have a message from Kanahara. Here. <clears throat> Challenge to ca a cabaret club battle, huh? Ain't gonna go easy on you. Yeah. Yeah. Nani? Um, is Yuki-san here? Yuki-chan? She's right in front of you. Come on now. Yes? What can I do for you? Yuki-san, please don't take this personally, but if I were you, I'd get out of here as soon as you can. What? What does that mean? A man I know well has been acting a little strange lately, and I don't know, I just have really bad a really bad feeling. I think he may be plotting to kidnap you, Yuki-san. Please, you have to be careful. Oh, jeez. When you say he, you don't mean- what? Hey, what's the big idea trying to scare Yuki-chan? Trying to throw her off her game so you can get a leg up in the cabaret club battle? That it? No, I think she's actually trying to warn her because a sexual predator is thinking about kidnapping her. Majima-san. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it at all. He really will do anything to get what he wants. He's a dangerous man. Mm -hmm. A dangerous pompadour. I don't want to see any more girls hurt by him, that's all. Kanahara catches you, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Kanahara, if you pizza when you're supposed to french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. If Kanahara catches you, you're also going to have a bad time. So, Yuki-san, please go somewhere safe for now. Won't be intimidated like that. I'm a member of Club Sunshine. I'm going to fight beside Majima-san, Yuda-san, and Ai-chan. Also the rest. I mean, I know I'm still an amateur and might not have much to contribute, but that doesn't mean I'm going to run away. Yuki-chan. Besides, everyone here has my back. I'm not afraid of Kanahara. I see. I wish you'd believe me, but please be careful. Moving someone from the equation comes all too easily to him. Oh, Chika-san. Chika-san. I wonder if she was really worried about me. If she actually meant it, then I was pretty rude to her. <laughs> There's I just awkwardly hanging out in the bed, waving. Why is she, who is she waving at? But who knows? Maybe Kanahara told her to say those things to scare you. Oh wait, she must be waving at Yuda. I know soon enough. Looks like we'll be going up against Kanahara any day now. Yes, you're right. Uh. She was always so calm before, and today she seemed almost desperate to warn me. What is Kanahara up to? Uh. Well, there's never any harm in being more careful. You watch yourself, Yuki-chan. Okay. Oh, and Yuki-chan? You were pretty cool back there. You've come a long way. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> kick, 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 kick. <laughs> really, who laughs like that? Don't do that. I know. Hey, Yuki-chan, quit laughing like a cartoon and come help, come help me with this. Oh, sure. Anahara, what are you really up to? Vinegar, again. What is it with this crowd and vinegar? Bleh, can't believe Yuda-san would send me out to fetch vinegar. What a pain in the butt. Are you Yuki-san from Club Sunshine? Mm hmm? She's gonna get kidnapped right on our front step. Oh great, this means I can't use her in the battle, can't I? Oh, that oh. sucks. Oh, Majima-san, have you seen Yuki-chan? Oh. Yuki-chan? Nope. Mm. See. That's strange. She went out for some errands, but she hasn't come back yet. Mm. I wonder if she stopped by somewhere. Yuki-chan loves desserts, so maybe she's having a snack somewhere. 
this be Kanahara's doing? No, it can't be. Let's give her a little more time. Hi. Agreed. I'll have to make do with the other staff members until she comes back. Hmm. But I'm worried, though. You're going up against Club Venus soon. Yuki has gone missing. She will not be in the staff roster until- I really think, after all the stuff I was told, that maybe I should be more worried that she's gone. Oh, and I probably can't do any of the postcard stuff until she comes back, because she's involved with that, isn't she? Well, let's do a battle. Without one of the top girls. No, oh, Akimi's not here either. Oh, they're also all ranked, I've only just noticed. And Yuki is my number one. Unsurprisingly. Well, of course, now I need to check. I is number six. Ibiki is number 15. Saki is number five. Let's go! It's number three! <laughs> Who's number two? Number eight is Dolly. Seiko's number eleven. Nina's number seven. Randa's number four. Oh, Shizuka's number two. Huh, interesting. Wait, they have little descriptions for each one, too? The star of this club. She's a dumb in the rough who can shine. Cheerful and energetic, her earnestness captures the hearts of men. A mature lady from Osaka, she loves to gossip and will talk up a storm. A tough girl with a great work ethic. She has a bright personality. A girl with maturity, her skills make older men swoon. A dull girl's mother, many men are struck by her devotion to her daughter, which is kind of creepy, but... A girl with lots of potential, she is great at romantic talk. Straight as an arrow, she worked at a bank and is well liked by older men. She worked at a club shut down by the five stars. She's delicate, but eager. Erin Kun is smitten, is smitten by her. She, her skills need work, but she may, she might shine bright. Rumors say this cool beauty used to date a member of a biker gang, and she's the number two in the club. Interesting. I feel like strange talk, formerly of Club Moon. She wants to take down Sukiyama, who fired her. Oh, didn't know that. Aspiring news reporter. She works here because of her poor speaking skills. Number of men she slept with is in triple digits? She's a man-eater! What?! <laughs> she loves to talk and can't stop talking, but she lacks stamina. She works here because she loves to drink. She's uh, good at livening things up. Bedroom with refines. Oh yeah, these two were the original members of the club. A student in the science field, her smarts are her charm point. Girl with laid-back personality, she went to the same school as Yuki. Oh! She talks a sexy, loves good clubs, and loves to party. Says not being unique is her unique trait. Uh, trait. Her favorite word is safe. A mysterious girl who demands to go by Marilyn. Her real name is Mariko. Looking for a purpose in life. Perhaps she can find it here. That seems pretty... I don't know. Land. Her husband cheated on her, so she chose this job out of despair. Oh student from Korea. Her fluent Japanese is one of her charms. Well, unfortunately, I can't have Yuki do her thing here, so... Wait, who was the number two girl again? I completely forgot for some reason. It was one of the gold hostesses, right? Shizuka, yes. I've already put her in. 
I don't think I have. I mean, if she's number two, she's got to be in the list. I mean, Aranda's number four, so... Do I need more of skill or love and talk? Yeah, let's go. Let's go with Akina. All right. Well, let's try it. See what happens. <laughs> I really wish you'd stop that. That laugh again. Boy. Hey there, Majima Kun. Looks like you're working pretty hard in your seedy little club. How are you doing? I've already knocked out three of your compatriots. What do you think? Hmm, <clears throat> can't complain, I guess. How about you? The club's losing fans, but you look like you're doing okay. Hmm, <laughs> no thanks to you. But now that I look at you, I have to say you look a little concerned. Is something the matter? Hmm, mm, it's almost as if one of the girls in your club has gone missing. <laughs> you, what have you done with Yuki-chan? <laughs> no, no, Majima Kun. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I told you before, didn't I? I always get what I want. That wide-eyed stare is creepy. Huh? Son of a- The timing is most unfortunate, isn't it? Based on our analysis, it seems that Yuki-chan is your club's main girl. With its main attraction out of the picture, what hope does Club Sunshine have of winning against us? Fuck you, I have Etsuko. We have the Obatarian in our stable. <laughs> You know, we could always postpone the battle until later, if you get down on your knees and beg for it. How about it? <clears throat> Damn it, how slimy can this pond scum get? What should we do, Majima-san? We're at a real disadvantage with our Yuki-chan. Ano... Let's do battle, Majima-san. What? Sure, it'll be tough without Yuki-chan here. <laughs> but with all of us working together, we'll be able to handle a weasel like this. Besides, if Yuki-chan were in our shoes, I bet she'd want to stick around and fight. Aicha. No. Giving in to a man like this won't do anyone any good. Majima-san, let's do this. Let's win and get Yuki-chan back. Ah. Alright, yeah. <laughs> mm, quite the inspirational little speech. I'm fired up. Shall we start the Cabaret Club battle then? It's showtime. It's my line. Oh man, that hair. Sure. I don't know if I'm gonna actually beat him first time out, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> to get what? What? No! You son of a bitch! Oh, damn. The only platinum hostess I have who has much in the way of cute is Yuki, and she's not here. Damn it. I feel like this isn't going to work. I feel like I'm screwed here. this right now. Not a hell of him. We don't need him. <laughs> Again with the cute. Why do all the rich dudes want cute? 
know what we'll have to do. Ah, uh, I should have waited until she sat down. She just, oh well. Wait, what? This guy is ham hamstringing me so bad. Why are so many people leaving? Yeah, there's no way I'm beating this hassle. No way. Oh, and beauty, hi, it is. Menu. I, wait, I, I, I didn't wait for her to sit down again, Jesus. Screwing it up, big time! Hey, hey. I suppose he wouldn't want to resend the session. He seems like he's pretty pissed off. left uh, I hate this guy I hate this guy so much I mean I is making a shitload of money off of that dude that's probably my only saving grace here This is a really nasty trick. I think his health is pretty low. And that's going to cut into my profit spot. <laughs> Uh, you know, Saki should be able to get a lot of money out of that guy. Uh, 
レディースクラスったわハイザラ公開。Yeah, there's no way I got him beat. I, I can't. He started hamstringing me right from the start, the jerk. Well, even before we started, because he's freaking kidnapped somebody. What? How the hell did I win that? Oh, because he spent 3 million yen on gifts, that's why. w h a t my staff even cost more than his? Oh! He made several people leave. Well, screw him then. Screw him. Nobody can beat this team. Nobody. See, I did most of the heavy lifting here. Oh my god. So she has. In your face and your hair. How could I possibly lose to these losers? Me! Well, that makes you a, like an uber loser, I guess. <laughs> And Club Sunshine ain't even gotten warmed up yet. You had enough? <laughs> justice always prevails for great justice. <laughs> Inconceivable! Keep using that word. I don't think you know what it means. Huh? No, 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 no! No! <laughs> I wasn't supposed to lose. I was supposed to win. I haven't taken him down yet. It's okay, Kanahara. Let it go. I stood with you in your pursuit to surpass Sukiyama san, no matter how single minded and even maniacal things got. I know you'd do anything to achieve that. But it's time to let it go. I don't want to see you suffer anymore. Let the weight fall off your shoulders, and let's walk out of this. Are you okay with that? Chika. Huh? Don't you mess with me! Oh no, the intense music.、Huh? See why I lost now? It was you! You were slacking. You didn't do your job! I, I would never. It was you, not me! I did nothing wrong! I let you be with me because I thought you'd be useful, and this is how you repay me? Oh, this is like the, the height of scumbaggery.、Uh, do I get to fight this guy now? Because I'd like to pound his face into the pavement. I don't need you anymore.、Huh? Get the hell out of here! Don't ever want to see your face again! How could you? You'd come work with us, we're not jerks.、No. This is so wrong. Chica did her best for you.、Huh? Shut the hell up! You don't know shit! This can't be the end of the line for me! How could you possibly understand the pressure I'm under? Majima! I won't take this lying down. Come out and fight me! <laughs> Ugly man to the bitter end. Shut the hell up! I don't care about what anyone thinks of me. Nobody's gonna stop me. Huh? You're mine, Majima! Fine. When I win, you're gonna give Yuki back. Ah, one of the best songs on the soundtrack. Club does need a new coat of paint. May as well use your blood.
it up, you jerk. Let me mess up those pretty teeth. I go down to a bunch of losers like you. This can't be happening. The other one treating everyone like your personal pawns, and you call us the losers? Huh? I won't accept it. I demand we do it over. How pathetic, Kanahara. <laughs> that guy's like, oh, <laughs> some some weird shit's happening in this alleyway. I need to leave. Sukiyama san. Mm, to think that a pitiful wretch like you was once considered number two among the five stars. I suggest you remove yourself before you cause me any further embarrassment. Sugiyama-san, I only wanted to surpass you. <sighs> Ever in a million years. Now, not another word. You are useless and I want you out of my sight. If you don't, I can make some arrangements. Shit! Shit! Tsukiyama. <laughs> it's been a while, Majima-san. My humble apologies if my inept minion actually managed to cause you trouble. And he was your crew, wasn't he? You want to call yourself the boss, and you failed just as hard. <laughs> what can I say? I'm embarrassed. But this same guy keeps trying to come down this alleyway, and is like, oh, they're not done yet. <sighs> oh, no, dude. Hey, event. Defeating Club Venus. That's quite a feat, Majima-san. Though I expected nothing less from the manager of Cabar the Cabaret Grand. <laughs> Real honored. First it was Hino, now Kanahara. I'd say the five stars aren't twinkling so bright anymore. <laughs> to be frank, I hardly care about the five stars. If it goes bust, it's truly a non-issue. Kanahara, in particular, became quite conceited after he got a little power and money. I knew I would have to get rid of him at some point. <laughs> and you did just that for me, Majima-san. I can't thank you enough. But sooner or later, I may have to step in and fight you myself. It's all a gut feeling. It's mutual. <laughs> I look forward to the day, then, that I can personally put an end to you along with Club Sunshine and Cabaret Grand. Farewell. You're next, asshole. Uh, looks like we'll be up against Tsukiyama soon. Majima-san. Ah. Yo, Chika-chan. Um, I'm really sorry about Kanahara. Chika-chan. Ah. Never mind that. Ain't no need for you to apologize. Are you okay, Chika-chan? <sighs> Not really, I guess. I didn't think he'd say something like that to me. The club's probably gonna be shut down, too. What am I gonna do? If you want, why don't you come and work for us? Yeah? I mean, that's what we do, apparently. We put places under and then poach their talent. But we're the heroes in this. We we definitely are. Cross my heart. Hope to die. What? You don't got Kanahara, so you wouldn't be working with your boyfriend anymore. And like Kanahara said, compared to Venus, Club Sunshine looks a little seedy. The girls and the owner are a pretty weird bunch, too, and coming from me, well, that's saying something. But you know, I like Sunshine just the way it is. Working here puts a smile on my face. Considering the shit show my life currently is, I'll take what I can get. Maybe if you came aboard, you'd find yourself smiling more than you did at the old club, too. I could work with a smile. Ah. Yeah, maybe tears are a woman's weapon sometimes, but I say a smile packs a lot more heat. Come to think of it, I don't think I've smiled in a while. Work, love, both of those should have been a lot more fun. Somewhere along the line, I lost all that. Chica chat. Club Sunshine's Goro Majima, right? I look forward to working with you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hi. Thank you. Um, what, what about Yuki? Where's... 
Would you look at that? You smile, and it's like the sun just busted through the clouds. <laughs> you really think so? It makes me so happy. Uh, right. Lay the charm on the customers, just like that. I guess all's well that ends well. Time to celebrate our victory. Good call. You guys all did a great job today. Let's pop some corks. But... But we're missing someone. Hmm? Aren't we forgetting something? Eh, it couldn't have been important. Oh god. Why does Yuki keep getting shit on throughout the storyline? What did she do? What is she doing up there? Help! Yuki has returned safely. No, she hasn't. She's trussed up on the roof. Does the janitor find her? Do we even have one? <laughs> Tsukiyama's Club Moon is the only club remaining. Club Moon has always set the bar. I never imagined we'd be on the same level as them, much less have a shot of winning. Let's take the fight to the Club Moon area. Awesome. Hey, so uh, no hard feelings about the whole... No, no hard feelings about the whole forgetting about you thing? It's time. Oh, she's on the air. Did my postcard make the cut? You're just hoping he reads the one from Goro 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 Chan. Yes! Yo, Doshi Kamiya san, and yo to you too. I'm always looking forward to your show. Thank you. I heard we've got a new sales tax coming next out next year. Yes, I'm really down the dumps about that. I didn't know about it. Don't you watch the news? Recently, I got to chat with the politician who came up with the sales tax. He was having a pretty hard time. Wow, talk about national discourse. He wanted to know what kinds of new taxes would work, so I gave him advice. You did? Goro 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 Chan, what have you done? If the government comes up with new taxes, it might be my fault. Sorry. P.S. Doshi Kamiya-san, how much do they pay you to do your radio show? All the personal questions he's asking. In a country where people are furious about the sales tax already, why would you add fuel to the fire, Goro Goro Chan? Still, what are the chances that a single citizen survives could pass the legislature and become law? You should be fine. And if not, you can pay my share of the tax. Whoa! I was clever sneaking in that question about my pay. A DJ never tells. But if my boss is listening, I could use a raise to offset the damage Goro 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 Chan has done. Whoa, that was the third time Goro 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 Chan has had a postcard right on the air. Congratulations. <laughs> on last. Thanks, don't you come in. I have a special surprise headed your way as I speak. Hmm? Surprise from you? Excuse me, Majima-san. What's up, Yudachan? I'm in the middle of something important here. I'm sorry to disturb you, but we just got a guest in the club who was to say a little odd. A guest? Hi. Yes, he keeps demanding to see someone named Goro Goro Goro. He's kind of persistent about it too. Ayate. Goro Goro Goro. Wait, how do you get that name? The only person that could be is me. Yes, my thoughts exactly. I figured it would be best if you could speak to our guest. And so here I am. <sighs> Cryant. Alright, I'll handle it. <laughs> there, that's the gentleman. Him, huh? Hello, sir. How may I be of service today? Hello, hello! How's it going? Nice to meet you! Are you perhaps Goro 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 Chansan? Uh, my name's Goro Majima, and you are, sir? Hmm. I like how I don't know who he is until he says that. Never mind, his voice should sound familiar anyway. And he? That catchphrase. You're really... Indeed I am! Doshi Kamiya! As in Doshi to postcard? In the flesh? <laughs> Got it! That's who I am, Goro Goro Chansan! It, it's really him. Congratulations! 
Go, 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 Chun-san! This is your prize for getting your postcards on the air three times! Congratulations! I got Benkei's amulet. This is too wild. Yoshi Kamiya, if I could just shake your- <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's re is it really you? I like how Yuda is still hiding behind the wall. Whoa! <laughs> She's peeking around the wall. Yoshi Kamiya-san, I love your so- I love your show! Ah, thank you, thank you. Oh, can I shake your hand? And can I get your autograph? And, uh, um, uh- Hi! Aren't you the most adorable fan ever? Why, I could see myself taking you to meet my parents. <laughs> wow, you really do say the craziest things without even a second thought. You're Doshi Kamiya-san, all right. Uh, Yuki-chan, hold on. Well, folks, the studio calls. I've got to be going. I mean, was the, was the show live on air? Because he did the same thing with Kiryu, too. And where is the studio? Because this is a completely different city. So did he just haul ass down here to drop it off in the middle of the show? Or does he have like a roving studio? So I couldn't spend more time with you. Oh no, already? And thanks for running in, Goro 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 chan I really must be going. Goodbye and see you next time. Wait, uh, Doshe, please. I didn't get to take your hand. Congratulations, Majima-san. It's incredible that you got three postcards picked. You're really something, Majima-san. Huh? Not another word, Yuki-chan. Huh? Hey, what's wrong with you? You should be jumping for joy. You just won a prize worth a million yen. Get it. You're the worst, Yuki-chan. <laughs> look at how... Look, look, look at how childish she is. Huh? What did I do? Oh, a bunch of weirdos. Equipping it may uh, aid you with your equipment searches. Interesting. Anyway, I now have a pile of money, so let's use it to spend on some abilities, perhaps. Slugger's been completely unlocked. We still got a couple of gates for Breaker, it seems. I haven't spent a lot of money in Breaker, but you know. Shadow. Secret of the Night Lord, cruel. Secret of the Night Lord, feast. Greatly boosts attacks using yeet actions. Hello, that's a pretty good one. And I'll do it for now then. And that will do for streaming, because holy crap, I've been streaming for like five hours. I played a lot more of, well, everything than I thought I would. But it's good to see that I'm really close to finishing the Cabaret Club stuff, because I, I really want... I love... I love this game. And I could play it forever. But I really want to finish the story. And the story has been put on hold for a long time now, because I wanted to finish the uh, side businesses first, at least. I know I'm not finishing all the other side missions. But I at least wanted the businesses done, so there we are. Anyway, let me exit out of this. And switch over to the webcam for my whole closing dealio. See if there's anybody I can send you over to. Who's currently streaming? Anybody I know? Well, I've been sending... I, I, I've sent people over to him a couple of times now the last couple of times I streamed, but let's send you over to I Am Jeff. He's currently streaming something called Trails in the Sky. Not sure what that is. I don't think I've ever seen this game before. 
Uh, let's see, I just need to sell the raid thing. Okay, now, I'm going to try to be back again tomorrow to do at least some Earthbound. I might do something else, but... As I said at the beginning of the stream... As I said at the beginning of the stream, it's it's going to have to be fairly early in the day. Because the only chance I'm going to get to stream tomorrow was fairly early in the morning. So we're talking like 11 o'clock or so Newfoundland time, probably. Which isn't early in the morning, but you know. So yes, if I happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so. Hopefully you'll find folks who join me again next time. But until then, as always, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great night. So long for now.